Hey, how's it going guys? 1FO here, and today I'm going to be showing you these four amazing new scripts for the hood. So, as you can see, these are all four of the scripts right here, and if you're looking for them, I'm going to have them all in the description. So, yeah. Now, starting off, before I get into the showcase, all four of these scripts should be working on Synapse X, Vega X, Kernel, Electron, and basically every other executor. I'm pretty sure these scripts even work on like JJSploit and stuff like that, so you should be fine no matter what exploit you have. But yeah, so I'm gonna start over here on this GUI, the Valiant GUI, and this one has just recently been updated, like about a week ago, to have this new UI. And they even added a bunch of new features like the Fly V2, all of these FE Titan things, and a bunch of other trolling stuff. So yeah, pretty cool stuff here. I'm gonna start with the Auto Farm tab because that's probably what most of you guys came here for. This can get you thousands and thousands and thousands of cash per day, like even a million if you try hard enough. So this ATM auto farm at the top is going to be the fastest auto farm method, but if you want you can also do these ones. So something like this, as you can see, you just stand here and it's going to automatically do the medicine bottles on the wall for you. So pretty cool stuff there, and you don't actually need to do only that one. You could actually pair them up, like let's say I want to do shotgun auto farm plus ATM auto farm. And if you have a fast enough PC, you could probably do that overnight and get tons and tons of stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to start with the player tab. And as you guys can probably already tell, I've been flying around the map since the beginning of the video. And that's with the fly v2 thing right here. It's a lot less buggy than fly v1. So if you're trying to use that, I'd recommend you use v2. There's also, if you scroll down a little bit more, all of this god mode stuff you can do. There's skinny god mode, god bullet, god mode v2, all of that. And on this crystal centered, crystal central GUI, sorry, there's all of this stuff right here you can enable. So there's anti-ragdoll, god block, god mode, basically all the same stuff that's on here. So that's some really OP stuff for trolling or if you're just trying to get a bunch of kills. But yeah, scrolling down a little bit more, there's a no head hack, which is just going to give you a free headless. So it's pretty buggy, as you can probably tell, I'm like shaking around a little bit. But if you're just walking around the map, like you're going to be walking kind of weird, but it's completely normal. And everyone in the whole game can see this. So pretty cool. And if you're really broke and you can't even afford animations, you could also come over here, get your free animations. There's zombie, werewolf, toy, cartoony, superhero, etc. And you can use whichever one you want. They're all completely free. And everyone in the map can actually see this. So it's pretty cool. And let's say you want to get rid of everything that you've just done to yourself. I'm just going to come up here to the very top of the player tab and click force reset. So just like that, it's going to take a few seconds, but it should reset your character. Let's see, three, two, one, boom. So all the stuff that I did is completely fixed and you don't even need to go into that like weird ragdoll state and wait for someone to step on you. But yeah, moving on down here, as you can see, you could do all this stuff. So you can do money scaffold, which is a really fun thing for trolling. If I do this right now, boom. And then everywhere you walk, there's just going to be this little block of money underneath you. So everybody else can see this. So it's pretty funny. I don't really know why you'd want to do that except for trolling because flying is just so much easier. All the stuff down here is basically to prevent yourself from getting stuff done to you. So you can do anti-grab, which is going to prevent people from grabbing you. Anti-bag, anti-flashbang, anti-block, obviously pretty self-explanatory. But anti-exploit target is actually really useful because if someone's trying to teleport to you, maybe they're doing like exclamation mark TP or something like that in the chat and you just want to get rid of them, you could check this box and then nobody else can teleport to you or like kill you or do anything to you. And if you come on here to the others tab, this is where all the best stuff is. So on the very bottom here, you could actually change your currency. So there it is, 9999999 money. And I think that actually does like give you the money like if you hold out your wallet. Okay, so it doesn't do that anymore, but you can't buy anything with that. So I guess you could just use that for trolling or something. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. You could view bank cameras, maybe like catch some guy doing something. It's a cash aura which I think they just got patched. They're probably going to fix that pretty soon. For auto unjail, that's actually the really, really, like probably the best thing on this entire GUI because if you ever get jailed or banned, it's just going to automatically unban you from that jail. So pretty cool stuff. Of course, there's an aimbot and ESP. I think I've been using the ESP this entire game, yeah. So you can see there's like chams on everyone in the whole game. You could just see them through walls. And then of course you have your B-Tools, which you could just click this button and start breaking things with. 
and it's pretty weird because some of it is going to be locked, like I can barely break anything, so hopefully that gets fixed soon, but yeah, I think that's all there is here, I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter, um, before I actually move on, as you guys can see there's this anti-AFK, and if you click this button, you're not going to get kicked while you're auto farming, so really really useful when paired up with auto farm, of course everyone's favorite silent aim, that's for your guns, so whenever you shoot someone, all of your bullets will go directly to them. Moving on to the combat tab, this is where all of the trolling comes into play. So as you can see, you could kill everybody in the entire game, but you need to have a knife for that. So let's see, is there any knife here? Is that a knife? Okay, yeah, so if I click this right now, it would just teleport me around the whole map and just kill everyone. Let me test it out really quickly. So let's see, hopefully this works because it was working for me earlier today. So it's going to bring you above them. Let's see, three, two, one. Okay, so it does look like it's actually killing them, but I'm just, there. this guy's in a building, so I'm not really doing anything to him. Uh, let me see if I can reset my character. So I'll come back over here, go to force reset. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to be stuck like this for the rest of the game since I don't have a knife, but yeah. So here's where all your teleports are. You could teleport to hood kicks, for example, police station, fire department, and literally anywhere you want to be in the whole map. And again, this is really annoying. I'm going to be on top of this guy's head for the rest of the video. But I guess you have to do what you got to do. And if you're wondering, I just checked it out. You actually need to have two knives in your toolbar to do that kill all. So annoying, but I hope it gets fixed soon. Again, here's all the other teleports. All of the spawn locations in the whole map are able to be teleported to. For auto buy, if you click any of this stuff right here, it's going to teleport you to those little green platforms that are on the floor. So for example, in the gun shop, if I click Glock, it would teleport me there, buy the gun, and then teleport me back. So really, really useful. I think you can get everything in the whole game. Yeah, even like fireworks and grenade launchers and stuff. So pretty cool stuff here. For cash dropper, pretty self-explanatory, you drop that amount of cash. And I'm going to move on to the Faded V3 GUI. This one's fairly new, and it has a lot of the same stuff this one does, but without the key. Because if you didn't know, you're going to have to go through a little link for ties link to get to this script. But yeah, so here it is. This is all the stuff that's on this GUI. There's an unjail, of course, chat logs, which lets you view the chat. So now I can see where everybody's like typing. You can even scroll up to the top and see what people were typing. And if you didn't know, this chat is not usually enabled in the game. So it's usually just like this little box and you can't see what anyone's typing unless you're right next to them. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff here. Of course, the combat tab basically has the same stuff as all the other ones. I think this one does too, yeah. So, Raycode X, pretty simple GUI. I'm not even going to go over this one because it's just this. Basically, all combat stuff. But yeah. So, here's all the stuff in this one. If you actually look down here, or is it right here? Animation pack for free. This is going to give you a free game pass. So, this is the game pass. It's going to let you do all these animations. As you can see, I'm dancing, chest pump, greet. And you can do whatever one you want. These are all going to be working. And you can even stop the animation. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff there. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.